This is my first morning commuting from our new apartment. I'm so tired. Oh my God, there's pigeons. <laughs> I'm so tired and we still have so much to unpack and build tonight. So I'm gonna try and get work done really quick, leave a little bit early and go home and finish building. It's Monday morning. I think the beast from the east has arrived. Can you see that snow? And we've got these two just chilling this morning. Oh dear. Petra, what is it? What's out there? She's trying to eat it. more later. Come on. Okay, so I just got home from work and we got mail today. <clears throat> Justin left it at work so I picked it up on the way home. We still have not unpacked everything. There's still stuff everywhere that has to find a home which I don't really understand because we lived in a studio, no problem. Didn't seem like we had that much stuff. Um, but this mail is from someone that messaged me, um, well, they commented on one of my YouTube videos saying that they made peg dolls. And would I like some made as like a wedding memento? So I said yes. What are you doing? Oh, this is cute. This is the stand for it. And it has our wedding date on it, September 7th, 2017. Oh my god. It's so detailed. The detailing on the dress is just like my wedding dress. That's crazy. Oh, Look, it's you as a peg doll! Yeah, it's cute! Oh my god, these are so detailed. I'm so happy with these. So if you want to have your own peg dolls, they don't have to be wedding versions. I guess they could be anything. But this is the Etsy store. It's Velveteen Rex. She has an Instagram as well. So you can go check those out and order your own peg dolls. These are so cute. Like the detailing, like the lace on my wedding dress. And my bouquet. Bouquet? Bouquet? Bouquet. Boo? Yeah. Is it bow in British? Bouquet? Bouquet? Bow in backwards. Man. Shut up. This is amazing. Oh, that's really cute. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to Instagram it. <laughs> this got delivered to the store as well. You opened this already? Yeah, I want to know what the hell it was. I didn't know Jill sent us a plant! I know, I told you that. Oh, I love Jill. Did you watch that video of Petra? Um, yeah. It was so cute. Oh, no. How do you do this? It says on the box, it says contains live plant. <gasps> it's a cactus. <laughs> it is a cactus! excited to have cactus children. Look at them. They're so cute. What great gifts in the mail. You are still getting ready? I'm already ready. Ok 
Okay, we did it. We built a bed. We built a bed. We don't have a duvet cover yet. We have a duvet, so we're just using blankets until we get a duvet cover. But we built a bed. We were defeated yesterday because I was just so tired. And actually, I'm glad we didn't do it last night. We wouldn't have finished until like 3 a.m. We built one. We have a bed. Next, we just have to build the dresser. What else? Uh, the sofa's arriving next Wednesday. So we have to build that and just put away the rest of our shit. But we're getting somewhere. It is such a nice day today, but I'm so grumpy because I don't know where anything is. And I didn't sleep a lot. And I have to wake up a little bit earlier to get to work now. And I'm running late. I'm just grumpy. I just hate not having all my stuff where it should be. I don't know where anything is. It took me forever to find my clothes. I have to get used to this new routine of waking up earlier. I haven't done my emails yet this morning. And we didn't go to bed until super late because we were still building the bed. I don't know, I just feel like I want a weekend to do everything. I hate that I have work. And then I get home late and then I don't have time to do anything. I'm just pissed off, frustrated, grumpy, my hair's greasy, I'm gonna be late, I'm not having the best morning. What are you doing? Is that fun? Girl Scout cookie flavored lattes. <laughs> now let's go work. Let's go work. Hi, have a great day. A photographer is there as Hitler starts his speech ahead of schedule. The Fiera leaves the hall as soon as he's finished. Precisely 13 minutes later. Okay. Hello. Oh my god, it's still so weird coming home to this apartment. It's so nice though, like so nice. This feels like an actual home, whereas Justin's studio apartment, like it was our home, but I just moved in there. Although this isn't really like a home yet. You can hear it, it's still so echoey because we have no furniture yet. The couch is coming next Wednesday. So we have to wait for that because they sold out. Like we went going and expecting the couch to be delivered the next day, but they're sold out. Also, it's so weird having multiple rooms to turn lights on in. That's so strange. I just love it. Um, so Justin's still at work. So I'm home alone for a little bit and I haven't been home alone in the apartment yet. So I'm kind of excited. I think it's still so echoey in here. We still have to build the dresser, but I just, all I want to do is I want to come home I want to shower and wash my hair. My hair's quite greasy. Oh, it doesn't look, mm, it doesn't look that greasy. It's just, I feel gross and I was super pissed off today. I can tell that I'm gonna get my period soon because I'm just so grumpy. When I was on my commute, all I wanted to do was just punch people in the face because there are just so many people on the train and I hate it. But I can tell that like whenever that happens, I know I'm getting my period. And Justin and I have leftover pizza for tonight, which I'm excited for. We moved the fridge last night, so I don't know if you can see. The fridge used to be here, like here, and it made no sense because the cupboards were on top of the fridge and it was kind of hard to get to the cupboards. And I really wanted to put like a small table and chairs in this space because we have this space, so you might as well. And it would be cute to have a nice table and chairs and eat breakfast or have brunch. Just to have a nice seating area in the kitchen. But we realized when we moved the fridge, I did not realize how deep the fridge is. And so 
there are boxes everywhere still. <laughs> so the oven door is kind of close to the fridge door, but I don't think it's that bad. I think it just looks strange because there's a space here, but I think once we get that table and chairs and put a nice plant on the table and I don't know, what else can I put on the table? I don't know. Just make it look nice. That's all I want. <laughs> Ah, oh, I just feel like it's gonna slowly, slowly get to where I want it to be, where it's all nice and perfect, but it's gonna be a slow process. Obviously, because we just spent so much money on the couch, the dresser, um, moving. Yeah, it feels so good to be home. It really does, I'm so excited. I'm not that, well, I don't love the bathroom. I know I said that before we moved in. I just don't love it and I don't know how to make it better. I said I was gonna paint the tiles with chalk paint but I won't be able to do that for a while. But also the shower head just looks strange to me. How hard is it to buy a new shower head and put it on? Like what if I wanted one of those waterfall ones? I wonder if I could just buy it and install it. Is that hard? <laughs> It's now Wednesday morning, early. We've had about another six inches overnight and it's still snowing hard. Come on then, let's go out. I can't even open the door. Go on Coco. Coco is not impressed. Oh, Coco's in. Come on, Petra. She's <laughs> she's lost her bone in it. Come on. snowing. Coco is out there somewhere. Oh, there she is. Coco's legs disappear in it now. Okay, so we had to come back to Ikea today because there were parts missing from the chair with it we bought. So Justin and I came on an Ikea trip and now we're having dinner here because our oven does not work yet. So we actually can't cook at home. <laughs> but it's all gonna be fixed. Okay, so we're waiting for the bus now. Oh, it's here. Oh, yay. And Ikea, we got curtains, curtain poles. What else do we get? Shower curtain hooks and 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 a duvet cover! Okay, it is raining outside. I just went to Trader Joe's and I got soaked walking home. Um, because we had no groceries. Our oven is still not working yet. So the microwave arrived today, so I had to get microwave stuff. So I got dumplings that we can have. Um, but yeah, today when I was booking people for interviews, they were cancelling already because we're supposed to have a storm, which is just rain, it's not snow. It's just rain and wind tomorrow, but people are canceling their interviews, so they're obviously not that desperate for a job.
Okay, I was very tired last night, so we really just had dinner and went to bed, and it was just so cold and wet. Today is supposed to be this rainstorm, but it's snowing. It's not even like snow, it's like a mixture between sleet, snow, and hail. It's so strange. I'm quite late for work today, but I don't care because it's Friday and it's snowing. It is Saturday morning. I'm up way earlier than I would like to be, but I'm going to meet Brie at the cereal bar. It's new, it's in Union Square. We were supposed to go the last two weeks because of moving and stuff, we didn't go. So we're finally going to the cereal bar. Okay, so I'm just in Dwayne Reed while I wait for Brie to get here. I'm looking at the Easter stuff. So thought I'd show you what Americans have for Easter because they don't have like the big chocolate eggs that you get in England. They have different things. Okay, these you get in England. Same as this. And these, these are different. So, oh, these are like candy covered Maltesers. Oh, this is like um, the candy corn texture, like American candy corn that you get at Halloween. It's made of the same thing, but it's bunnies. I don't think this is a marshmallow. It says marshmallow. This is very American. Mmm, maple cream. This is so cool. A giant peanut butter bunny. But they have bunnies. That looks scary. That looks creepy. Bree and I are at the Kellogg cereal bar now. It's insane, look at how big it is. I took my jacket off. So we just grab a bowl and pick our cereal? Yes, yeah. there's like coffee and stuff over there. Oh. Okay, that was actually very cute. A little too many screaming kids, but the cereal was so good. And it's very cute in there, not busy at, or crowded at all. <gasps> Brie, wait. Dogs. There's a German Shepherd puppy. There's a German Shepherd puppy. Yes. Um, if it pops up and says, please uh, update to iOS 11, just tell it to you later. Uh, <laughs> Actually, 
been to the Strand, the bookstore. So we've come today so she can experience it. I do love the Strand. It's just so cool. I'm just leaving Amy's. It's like 9 a.m. on Sunday. Oh, it is so windy. And yes, I'm in the same outfit as yesterday because I stayed the night at Amy's. And we're coming with three dogs on me. Oh. Found coffee. Okay, Justin and I have had a very lazy Sunday. I left Amy's and then I went to go get Justin breakfast on my way back. And I brought him back a nice, what did I bring you? Steak and egg on a bagel. And then we just really did nothing. I had a nap because I didn't really sleep much at Amy's last night. And now we are going to have lasagna for dinner and watch The X-Files. But we did do some tidying today. The apartment is slowly coming together. We just need more storage, like we need shelves. And I messaged this woman on Craigslist, so hopefully she'll get back to me and we can get some nice shelves. And the couch is coming on Wednesday next week. 